So do you go to your 3D printer and you're all excited to see your prints? This is what you see, a nightmare. I'm gonna teach you in this video how to solve these problems and get perfect prints every time. This video, we're gonna teach you a little bit about islands. We're not talking about fantasy islands. No, we're not talking about Gilligan Island. No, we are talking about islands in 3D printing. I'm gonna take you into my software and let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about and how to fix it. Okay, I brought a model into my eTech RP software and I loaded it on my plate. And you can see if I take my slider and I can see the layers that are printed. And as I go down, everything is being built directly off the build plate. And when I slide up and I can see that everything is being connected. Oh, what was that? This right here it's called an island and that island is printing in midair so everything is attached to the build plate except for this island and as you build it it's just floating and here's another one that's going to pop up on the other side you can see there it is and this island will grow and what we need to do is attach that to the build plate so we're going to add supports so this is super easy, but if you don't do this, you're gonna create a suction and it's going to distort the model when you're printing. So it's real easy to fix. We're gonna to go to my edit supports. The best way is to go upside down and to use your slider and see where that first distortion, where that first island shows up and there it is right there. So right here, I am going to need a support. So I'm gonna edit supports, and when I hit edit supports, you're gonna get this weird effect. So you have to kind of remember where you're gonna be putting that support. So I can kind of mark this graph. So I know it's about right there. When it turns blue, it means that support is built. Now I'm gonna apply it and build my support. Now watch. Now that I have a support on the build plate, as I build the model, you can see that now it's supported. Now on the other side, this island comes available. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna edit a support and put it right in here. Now I can add a couple of them just to make sure. I'll apply. And you can see that it's building right on top of it. So now, when I go to build this model, my islands now have support. Now everything else is just gonna build right off, and you're not gonna have that air print. So I hope this video helped you. If you want to see more tips and tricks about 3D printing, click right here. I made a playlist just for you.